my son, who is currently in a high secure hospital um, in New York, he has a uh, brain injury through to because of his drug use. He got, he got beaten up and he's fallen down and he's got brain injuries. He's been in uh, Broad Oak, he's been in rehabs, and all the time I had to go find these places for him to try and help him get off drugs or, you know, to find out to fight uh, to get um, MRI scans for his brain injuries because he thought he was just met, had mental illnesses. And I knew there was more to it than that. I had to fight to get everything for him. And in the end, I got in, in touch with a um, family support group, which um, I got a support worker and I got counselling. And I ended up volunteering. And I'm a trustee now on a family support group for um, uh, people with substance and alcohol abuse. I just feel like for the future, um, I've joined a forum group called uh, Waves of Hope to help, which is seems an, um, an inspiring, uh, inspiring futures for the alcohol and drug users. Um, it seems a good thing where they're putting all the services together and so they, and looking for people who are hard to reach. Uh, that's what I think is good about it and getting them all under the one umbrella and helping them to not have to go through one service, two service, three service, helping them right through the journey they go on, right to getting a home and a job, which I find fantastic. So that's what I'm hoping for the future for everyone and more family support especially. I attend various uh, services around Liverpool for service users and um, I found that uh, there are various services for support in addictions or uh, mental health problems. And there is always a need there because the population is continually expanding and there are always going to be problems around these areas. The NHS, which is already burdened by debts and overspending anyway, will not be able to sustain itself if we just sort of refer to the NHS, which is, I don't think is fair to the other service users because it's a specialist type of group which, is, which needs uh, focus, focusing on uh, individual needs and family, uh, family uh, requirements. So to take away any funding, you're just depriving you, your family, your friends or someone you know of the opportunity to get back into good health and to, well, to be well-being. I'm only a volunteer, um, but my son is a service user and I do lots and lots of volunteering, but I think we should get more women involved. Um, you know, like the tomorrow's women in the world, that's excellent. They can come in and they can get a wash, a shower, they can, they can wash their clothes, they can have a breakfast, they can get involved in anything educational, they can have their nails done, their hair done. A lot of them are still on tag or on licence, and um, some of them are waiting to go to court and may go to prison. But if they get involved and if they, help, they get help to get a job, um, they provide uniforms for them so that they can go and have an interview for jobs. Um, they can help with, um, get access back with the children. But there's not enough women going to these um, other services. And I think what it is because it's mixed with men. So if there was something more on the minds of not just for women but catered for a lot of women, I think that would be good. And I also think if a lot of the services amalgamated together, then there wouldn't be as many people saying, I've got to go here this day, I've got to go there that day. And then if they do slip and they happen to have a relapse, they forget where they've got to go. And then they won't go and face anybody at all then. Um, I'm just hoping this new service you know, can go down that line. And also, I think it would be exceptionally good if they got more volunteers that and train them so that they were you know, a little bit cleverer um, and more able to help in some kind of support, even if it was only going to court with them. I got to be an advocate, and actually, I've done an advocacy course for 10 weeks. Um, I'm actually going to university, I'm 66, but I'm going to university um, and I'm doing a criminal justice course, hoping to go and do some voluntary work with service users when they go to court. Services in Liverpool are really, really good, and I think there's quite a bit of duplication. And I think a lot of services try to keep hold of the service users rather than pass them on to other agencies or services which would be more beneficial to them. Obviously the cuts are coming and I think we're all 
going to be affected. Most of all, the service users are going to be affected if they start reducing services. Uh, we've got quick access to most services. A lot of service users dislike the thing that they have to keep getting assessed at every single service they go to. And sometimes, especially if it's the females who've had domestic violence and things like that, they have to relive that experience over and over again. So I think it should be one generic uh, assessment. Or people, the, the lads who've been to prison, they don't really want it to be telling everyone time and time again that they've just come out of prison and, and other things and that. But other than that, I think Liverpool leads the way, especially in the recovery side of it.